but he works on the railway. In 1842, from Hartlepool, I moved to Crow, found myself a job to do. Hello, Postman's Ben, and I got some new toys. So I'm going to do uh, two videos, in fact. This is part one. This is the uh, get out of the box. Now, previously, I bought myself a Versa Chuck. I did a video on that. I'll link it somewhere. And that's upside down in that shop, but it'll change in a minute. So I've got the Versa Chuck to work with my cold jaws, simply because the Versa Chuck is um, just over 100 quid to buy, uh, complete with a back plate and everything. And my cold jaws, they're a bit cumbersome, a bit awkward to put on and off of a chuck. I just wanted somewhere to put them and keep them safe. So that's what I did. But I was impressed with the Versa Chuck. I liked it a lot and I thought it was worth more than just somewhere to hang my cold jaws that were to be used as and when. I went looking at what they've got. That's the wrong camera. Try that one. And they've got some other things that were of interest to me. So let's have a look at what I bought. Let's put these out of the way. A new set of carriers. These carriers are listed as the cameras are upside down and back to the front. I get confused. Listed as the Axminster and Versus Chuck Jaw carriers. Uh, the reason they're called that is because the top part of them. We'll take Axminster jewels as well as Versachuck jewels. So we we'll just grab a random Axminster jaw. There's a carrier already on there. And the bottom of them are not the same. So you cannot use Axminster carrier in Versachuck chuck, but you can use the jaw part on the carrier. I'll just take these screws out and I'll show you that. So the top parts of these carriers are the same. So I can take my Axminster jaw, fit it onto my Versachuck carrier and use it in the Versachuck chuck. For clarity, this is Versachuck 3. I don't have a Versachuck 2 or one, so I don't know if they're identical. Um, maybe somebody can answer that in the, in the comments below. Anyway, what interested me was in this box. The long-nosed dovetail jaws. Now, those of you who watch... Um, me, Brian, Terry and Mark will know we are always taking the mickey out of Brian for not having O'Donnell jaws. O'Donnell is a long nosed jaw for the Axminster. Um, but obviously it requires you to have an Axminster chuck. Bring everything back into shot. So, I have the carriers. Now the Axminster carriers come with the screws. I'm not so sure about the others. It looks as though they rely on the jaws to supply the screws for the record power and maybe the others. Um, the other thing about the Versachuck is you can buy Versachuck carriers that only fit the Versachuck, but with the top of it machined for pretty much any jaw you can think of. So you've got record power, Nova, um, Big Mark, etc. You can also buy 
back plates for your Versa chuck for pretty much any chuck you can any spindle you can think of. This one's the M33 by 3.5 and that cost me £21.99. They do go up to £57.90 for the um, BB36 back plates. And unlike the new Axminsters, they still have the indexing, which is quite a handy thing to have, um, given the indexing on inside headstocks of lathes are pretty useless on pretty much every lathe I've used. Having it on the chuck is a good thing. Anyway, get, getting distracted there. So, you either put your carriers in and then put your jewels on, or you can assemble them and put them on the way I'm going to do it. Here's my Versa chuck with its long nose dovetail jewels. This is my Axe Mr. SK114. Let's get his name in the, in the frame. With its O'Donnell jewels. <coughs> this is the ultra expensive set, which has got three different size ends that you can put in. So you get uh, inserts that go in here and change the size of the opening. So you get three choices, but it does cost a lot of money. Um, this is stainless steel. I should have mentioned I cheated and I actually opened the boxes and put stuff back in the boxes before doing the unboxing bit. All of us took stuff comes in a plastic bag with machine oil in it. So you've got to take them, out, take them out of the bags, clean them, and that's because they are just steel, which is perfectly fine. The Axmas stuff is stainless steel, so that comes in a nice pretty presentation box. Um, but you take that out, you clean it, a bit of kitchen roll, and you're away. And these are nice and bright and shiny. Um, and these come in a pair. The idea is that you mount your pen blank there and you can drill it on the lathe. So long as they're opposites, it doesn't really matter what they're numbered. And just to prove a point, I'm going to put, put number one, not number three. I'm going to put number one into slot number two on the chuck. number three into the slot four as you can see that works just as well it is literally just about being where the thread comes into it and being opposite now as I said can't mix the carriers but you can mix the jewels so obviously not a working consideration um, but for purposes of demo I can show you that the Axminster and the Versa Chuck jewels are interchangeable as long as you're on the right carriers. Here's another little teaser for you. These are the Chuck Buddy jewel holders for the Axminster jewels with carriers. As you can see from the top row, they also take the Versa Chuck carriers. So uh, they're not on the market yet, but Steve is hoping. Steve of SK Crafts or Chuck Buddy fame um, 
hoping to get them out for Christmas. Okay, so we're coming to the end of video one. Um, as I said at the start, this is going to be a two part. Second part is going to be mostly turning a bowl um, because the jaws will be in place. But I wanted to show you the configurations and stuff as a separate item. But before we finish this, um, those who watch um, Brian, Terry, Mark, and myself on lives will know that we take the mickey out of each other all the time. And one of the things that is I don't turn pens anymore. Um, and to make sure I can't turn pens anymore, especially not resin ones, my mandrel was sent to Brian as a gift. So now he has to turn the, the resin, and I don't. But I used to turn a lot of pens, and I do still have a reason for some precision central drilling. So, hence the reason for being attracted to these jewels. And, in fact, I will be turning pens again one day. Um, I just, I turned a lot, a lot of pens. And I was selling them too cheap. And I got disheartened. Um, so I stopped doing them. Should have said. This was one piece of wood. I cut it, but I've marked where I cut it. Um, okay. This is um, this is faked. I was going to do it on camera, and I switched camera, and it went black. I didn't notice, but let's fake it anyway. You'll never know. Unless I, oh, I did tell you. Okay, so. <laughs> right. So I like to mark the center of my pen blank so I know which ends go together. And I always start my drilling at that end. And I also like to give my drill the best start of going straight by just giving that a touch with a skew, opening that centre up so the drill goes into the nice centre hole and doesn't skate about on it. Bring my drill into place. I tend to drill it around about 700 RPM, um, sometimes a bit slower, depends on the size of the drill really. Here's the hole, should go straight through the wood. If I move my hand, you might even be able to see that. So it's pretty much in the centre, pretty much in the centre. Um, so those work. And as I said, I have other reasons for wanting to draw central. And... Those will come in handy. As I said, I don't make pens at the moment. I will be making pens again in the future. Um, and those will come in handy for that, but I have other ideas for them in between times for things that I need to drill central. So, that's it for video one. Video two is using the O'Donnell jaws. Where am I? I'm up there. And I'm going to turn this bit of uh, African walnut um, into a bowl on the O'Donnell jaws. And the two will be linked together, etc. So those that are interested can watch both. Those that are only interested in the hardware can just watch this one. Those that just want to watch a bowl can just watch the second one. Excellent. We all win. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.